Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about distance mate and distance limit mate. So you have taken two components. So for better understanding, I am going to consider concentric mate with bolt and nut. Now it is going to move along this cylindrical shaft. Now, now I am going to apply a distance mate. So this is the distance mate. So I'm going to apply this top face and this top face. I'm going to take 30 mm. See here. So when I say okay, the nut doesn't move. So I'm going to apply even parallel mate. So to arrest the rotational moment. So I am going to select this. See here. Now according to this uh, distance mate, it is exactly at the 30 mm from this face to this face. See here, this is 30 mm. So it does not move at all. See here. Now I am going to edit. direction see here there is a flip direction if I flip this so what is going to happen with this nut see here and uncheck this it is going to take other direction so we can limit the distance in any direction and apart from that if I select anti alignment see the face is going to rotate see here it's going to take another direction so if, when I uncheck this uh, flip direction so it is going to move other direction so in four ways uh, we can apply the distance mate so, now i'm going to suppress this distance mate and once again i'm going to apply distance limit mate this is the advanced mate see here here like in distance mate i am going to assign 30 mm to this distance and i am going to select these two faces and this is the minimum value for example whatever the value I have given i'm going to assign same value to this and i'm going to increase this to 40 mm so what is going to happen so i'm going to say okay now this nut is at the exactly at 30 mm so it is going to move in other direction in between 30 and 40 mm so we can assign the minimum value and maximum value to this distance this is for sometimes we can use for mechanisms so we can limit the value so in earlier condition we have only one limit that is 30 mm here we have two values 30 and 40 so it moves in between 30 and 40 and uh, like in uh, distance mate we can have flip direction see it is going to take other direction and they flip the direction also so it is going to rotate in other direction so the advantage of uh, distance mate is to 
we can move the component within our limits. So distance mate comes under standard mates and distance limit mate comes under advanced mates. Thanks for watching.